Excel has an amazing function known as sequence, which is lesser known. This tutorial, I am going to demonstrate four variations of sequence functions using four different scenarios. Over to my screen. A typical scenario. Let's say we need to write serial number 1 to 1000 to print it for attendance sheet. Okay. So generally, what most people do is that, or most popular method is write 1, 2, and then use this drag and fill handle and drag till 1000. But one thing is there. So you need to drag it very accurately, rightly. Sometimes it's get drag excess. So you have to remove those cells. Okay. Now sequence can do this in just few seconds. Okay. So function is is equal to sequence bracket open. So we want 1000 serial numbers. So I will enter 1000 in bracket close. Now it generated 1000 serial numbers on the fly. You all know about this game known as Housey or Tambola. So let's say if we want to quickly print this game on our Excel sheet so that maybe we can display it on our screen and then share the colors which are called out. Okay. So I have to generate numbers from 1 to 90. Okay. So I can use sequence functions to quickly generate numbers. Okay. So A is equal to sequence. So 19 numbers. So there are nine rows and 10 columns. Okay. So nine comma 10 columns. Okay. And bracket close. So in this way, this Tambola board is ready for us. So now you can just copy it, then do a paste special, Alt H V V. And then maybe center align it like this, put borders and then shared whatever you want to do. Next scenario that let's say we have our name of the employees and we want to track daily sales or maybe daily hours they are working. So, so we have columns like Jan 1st, 2024, then Jan 2nd, 2024, like this all 365 or 366 days, whichever is. Okay. So generally people drag this like this, but it dip, becomes difficult. Okay. So let me show you a very quick way. Okay. So I would write sequence. Now this time I would say, so I just want one row, but columns. So 2024 has 366 days. So I would write 366 days. Okay. Comma. Start would be. Now this is interesting. Currently I am doing one. Okay. So this would insert numbers. Now instead of vertically, it would do horizontally. Right till 366. Okay, now uh, let me show you one interesting thing. So if you go to date and change it to general, okay. So date is nothing but internally a number which is formatted as date. So 45 to 92. Okay, so if I write this number in the start, 45 to 92. Okay, now these are nothing but my dates. Okay, so if I select this entire row, and if I give this date setting, okay, short date, now you can see, okay, like this. First Jan, second Jan, third Jan, like this, it would go till 31st December. This example is even more interesting. Probably we have used this in our school days. So do you remember multiplication table of two, three, four, five used to write? So let's generate this using sequence. Okay. So first we generate one into two into like this. Okay. So I would write is equal to sequence. Okay. Number of rows 10 bracket close. So this would generate one to 10. Now I would concatenate that means and and in double quotes write space x space. Okay. And double quotes end. Okay, so 1 into 2 into. Okay, now let's say I want to generate 
table of two. Okay, so is equal to sequence. Now we want ten rows, and we want one column. Okay, now this one is interesting. So this time I don't want to start from one, which is default. So I want to start from two. Okay, but if I do this, it would generate the series from two, three, four because gap between each number of series is one. So I would remove this last bracket and one more parameter I would introduce called step or gap two. Now this would generate table of two. Let's say we want to generate table of three. So I can reuse this. So maybe we can write something like this: table of okay, three, and we can link this, this, comma, this, okay, like this. So this would be very generic. So if we make it, let's say, table of seven, table of seven. So we can copy paste it like this. Time for FAQ. So the very first error that. So when I attempt to write is equal to sequence, nothing comes in the drop down. Or maybe if even if you write is equal to sequence, this you get hash name error. So this means that you don't have a compatible version of Excel. Sequence functions was introduced in Office 365 version of Excel, and it was made available even in Office 2021 version. Okay, so if you don't have at least Office 21 or Office 365 version of Excel, then SQL function is not available for you. So you will have to upgrade, or you can also use online version of Excel or browser-based version of Excel, which is available free of cost and it supports sequence functions. Lastly, if you find this technique interesting. do like the video share it and subscribe to the, to my youtube channel